Mothica dropped her new album, Kissing Death. Um, Mm -hmm. we spoke with Mothica about the record. It is out now. You can go check it out. Um, I was watching back through the interview, um, you know, because it was recorded so long ago, I've, I've gotten the editing down so much where I'm just like, I know I I make my notes. I don't have to watch through everything. I watch bits and pieces to figure out what I got to do. And it's Mm -hmm. still fresh enough in my mind, but that was recorded back in May. And my can, hair was long <laughs> and i was wearing my other glasses and yeah. um you can tell because we were talking about the album having a million streams on it already where it's obviously far surpassed that we were about two singles in uh, i mm-hmm. believe red was like the fresh single um mm-hmm. when we talked to her so we were like two or three singles in um so i i was watching through it and i was like yeah this was this was a good chat this this was a yeah. good time so if if you enjoyed this record you like mothica you should check out our interview we we went pretty in de- in depth on the album process um yeah the entire thing yeah mm-hmm. huge fan of this record big fan um mm-hmm. you know i am i am a big mothica fan um mm-hmm. you could probably tell by the interview um mm-hmm. but i'm i'm a big mothica fan i enjoy her stuff i liked her last record um and i've been patiently waiting for this one to finally come out pretty much since the last time we interviewed her where she started talking about the next record meaning this one in that interview she always does it it's yeah so funny. it's <laughs> yeah. great we even it. did that a little bit in this in this interview about the next record but i think she was a little less along this time around because we had talked to her like six months removed from nocturnal so Mm -hmm. it's like nocturnal cycle is already like into full swing there with the record being out so it's on to the next one this was before um kissing death came out but Mm -hmm. i very much enjoyed this album um you know she's she's got a a lot a lot of synths on here as i said in the interview uh Mm -hmm. red kind of sticks out like the sore thumb of the rock song and she obviously gives her explanation for it and how it fits in to the the narrative um but sonically it is the one that that sticks out like a sore thumb um Mm -hmm. because this album is so synth heavy um and just and i'm i'm here for it i love the way it opens with the void it it's it actually like i know it's only a minute and a half long but it sets Mm -hmm. the the album tone so well and Mm -hmm. i i i really enjoy it as the opener and as a song um Mm -hmm. because it's just like it it's that groove and again it really sets the tone for you are getting a lot of synths on here (laughs) Yes. Yeah. And also that it sets the topic of the album as well. Like it is a perfect introduction sound wise and lyric wise. It is she fucking crushed it with that. Mm-hmm. Um I love the album. Uh first couple listens, it took me a minute because it's not the typical alt that I listen to. As you said, it's very synth heavy. So it's kind of like a mashup of your favorite pop artist, who I assume is still the weekend, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know give or take yeah. um mixed with kind of like the moody dark vibes that you like on that type of alternative music so i was like oh of course shane's gonna fucking love this now my third fourth listen um of this album it clicked completely i was like okay i understand it's a fucking vibe dude mm-hmm. the entire thing i've been so used to heavy music and fucking rock and fucking jazz rock and just shit that i've never listened to before but it's still kind of in that realm of here's the four core instruments that you can hear and that's about it and we're just gonna jazz it up the way we do where this is just very technical i guess in the production aspect in the layering and it is a i mean in the interview i believe she said she made this to be kind of like a soundtrack Mm -hmm. for an album uh, a soundtrack for a movie and I think with that in mind, it definitely helped it click a lot more where it's like, oh, yeah, this isn't its own thing. It's paired up with something else, which is another reason why she made it a visual album as well. Interview cleared up a lot of shit um, and actually opened the door fully to because, you know, it was already I already enjoyed it. But hearing that and hearing her take and what she wanted the album to be definitely cleared it up and made me go, oh, OK, I can fully appreciate this the way she meant me to appreciate it and i love it yeah i think it's great um my favorites are unfortunately singles but again it's kind of like there were so many there were so many and also they were singles for a reason Mm -hmm. so i guess 
um the reaper is a fucking vibe and i love it mm -hmm. um i love curiosity killed the moth and then also the void i did enjoy the void even though as we said it's the the opener it's a bit shorter i do think just how it kind of sets the tone it's memorable and i really fucking enjoy it yeah hell yeah yeah as i was saying the the void is up there for me um curiosity killed the moth um toxins and mm -hmm. kissing death are like but i i could sit here and say every fucking song because you know each one's got a slightly different vibe to it it, it really is you know this big eclectic piece um mm -hmm. and you know it it flows it flows so well like you know and it's interesting that like she said you know the the track listing is more of like the sonic flow whereas the way the singles rolled out was more of the uh the story flow because mm -hmm. like doomed could have totally been the album opener but it was the first single which you know when we when we talked about it, we're like this is a this is a weird fucking single um yeah. to to lead up with but it was setting the scene the stage for the the visual side of things which was mm -hmm. so um heavily part of of this rollout um mm -hmm. but overall i think she fucking knocked it out of the park um mm -hmm. you know a visual album quite the feat but um as i said in the interview the first since the first time i had heard the idea i was i was like if anyone's gonna knock it out of the park it's gonna be it's gonna be mothica so um 100%. i think i think this album is fantastic highly recommend um mm -hmm. if you're a fan if you're not a fan <clears throat> just i think it's a fantastic album and it should be checked out 100 percent. and to say uh when when did we last interview her like before the last one was that 2021 2022 2020 we've been anticipating this record privately for two years mm -hmm. and it did not disappoint mm -hmm. at all and i am very very happy with with how it turned out and yeah. um i think she is too yeah and uh too. go uh go see her on tour she's headlining for the first time <clears throat> eu and uk up first and then the us i'll be there philadelphia is on my birthday so i yep. will be there hell Damn yeah right.